Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Edge channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Former interim WBO heavyweight world champion Joe Joyce has made it clear that he is ready to concede to WBC title holder Tyson Fury the right to fight Jung Chili if he is offered an impressive compensation. It all depends on the numbers, on how much money I will be offered. I will definitely think about it. I want to defeat Jung Drilly. I want to get back in the ring and beat him. Revenge with Drilly in Macau? I haven't heard anything about it. But it would be interesting because China has a large population. If there is a bigger match, then it's interesting to see what numbers they will come with, Joyce said. British heavyweight George Joyce reacted to statements from the head of matchroom boxing Eddie Hearn, who began to criticize the boxer after his crushing defeat to the Chinese Yang Jili. Recall that the 37-year-old George Joyce lost prematurely in the sixth round the underdog Yang Jili last month and lost the status of temporary WBO champion. I heard him criticize me as soon as he got the chance, Joyce said in an interview. Many people say that I should end my career, but all I had was a swollen eye. How about we do Jung Julie's fight with Joshua and see what happens? Well, as it is, I am happy for Jung Julie because right now he is on everyone's lips, Jojo is said. John Fury, the famous father of the equally talkative WBC British heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, does not agree with his son about who will win the fight between Anthony Joshua and Dante Wilder, who see him to agree to fight in December. Early Tyson bets on Wilder, while his father claims that Joshua will simply run over the American knockout, because he has problems with the holder. AJ knocks out Wilder, Fury is too in an interview. Do you know why? Because Dante is not able to hold a punch when he passes into the temple area. Tyson almost cracked his skull. If AJ gets to the same place, then they will lie down on the canvas. Legendary American ring announcer Michael Buffer spoke about a grandiose heavyweight tournament that Saudi Arabia wants to arrange at the end of the year. I heard about it from you and just a few minutes ago from our friend Eric Chizora. I have learned a lot of new things, and this tournament is at the stage of rumors. It sounds incredible. It's going to be a huge boxing event. If this tournament takes place, then I will be very happy because this is what we all want. We want to get one absolute heavyweight champion of the world. All boxing is under the auspices of the heavyweight division, and we want it to be one person. It doesn't matter who it is. Everyone in the world wants to know who is the heavyweight champion of the world. So let's see how the situation develops. Maybe eventually we will have an absolute heavyweight champion of the world, Buffer said. As we have seen over the past 14 years, you can expect someone to be your opponent. But this never happens. I'm not optimistic about any names until I see them in the ring. One well, thing I can say for sure, if they are going to organize something in July, they should hurry up. Time is passing. We need to speed up. It's already May in the yard, Fury added. His British sub-promoter Frank Warren said that the fight with Ruiz most likely will not be due to the large financial demands of the American, and Jung Julie is now also committed to a rematch with Joe Joyce. In any case, I want Fury to enter the ring and return to the thick of things. It's a damn shame we wasted so much time, Warren said in an interview. The problem is that the opponents we wanted are already boxing. Jung Jili, Joe Joyce, I wanna do a fight with Joe next because he needs to win first. We will look around and see what's available, Warren said. Former world heavyweight champion Mike Tyson considers Tyson Fury the best boxer in the world at the moment. He stated this is in an interview with ESPN. The best boxer in the world is Tyson Fury, and now he is the main attraction of boxing and the most recognizable character in this sport, said 56-year-old Tyson Fury. Former world heavyweight champion Mike Tyson considers Tyson Fury the best in the world at the moment. 
Fury is Kyrian World Heavyweight Champion according to the World Boxing Council WBC. The 34-year-old Briton has 33 wins in 34 fights. In the professional ring, with one draw, in a duel with American Dante Wilder in 2018. It's no secret that the legendary British champion and newly minted member of the International Boxing Hall of Fame, Carol Froch, constantly a fan's compatriot and former heavyweight leader Anthony Joshua. Froch tells how it all started. According to him, the first mini-conflict arose in December 2019. That is, immediately after Joshua regained the WBA Super, IBF and WBO belts in a rematch with Mexican Andy Ruiz. It was like this. Froch recalls, I was interviewed. I didn't say anything like that. He just admitted that he was not impressed with the performance. But it's true, I think that there was nothing to praise for. That is, I was extremely honest. He said it was a boxing lesson, but nothing more, and I suppose I somehow offended or upset him with this. In the evening, I see that I have several unread messages on my phone. I wanted to view them, but it turned out that they had already been deleted. All four. I don't know what was there. And all from AJ and there was a missed call from him. According to Carol Roach, he unsubscribed asked, Is there something you wanted to tell me? You performed well. What happened? But there was no response. And the next time I meet him, he didn't even remember about it. He says to me, Hello, bad guy. How are you? And he talked to me lightly, nicely. He is generally a very well-mannered guy. Great character. I like him. I think he still had something to say to me, but he never did," Froch said. Remote Reddy here and Matchroom Boxing confirmed that negotiations have begun on the organization of an intriguing duel between ex hbb champion Britain Anthony Joshua and American Dante Wilder. The fight is expected to take place in December in Saudi Arabia. The promoter admitted that investors from Saudi Arabia are negotiating separately with Wilder and separately with me. So don't ask me how close they are to an agreement with Dante, but I think they will be able to negotiate with him. Have they already agreed with us? Not yet. Hearn suspects that the negotiations with Dante began a long time ago. He believes that Joshua's fee should be much more substantial. Do you remember Wilder was in Saudi Arabia on the Jake Paul vs. Tommy Fury show? They are constantly in touch with him. He never had the same fears as Anthony Joshua. Investors know how much Joshua raised for the fights in Saudi Arabia against Andy Ruiz. So they know the level of the fee that needs to be reached in order for this fight to take place. If they really want to do this fight, then I think they will succeed. The promoter claims that if it is not possible to agree on a fight with Wilder, then they will hold a moderately intermediate fight in the summer. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.